And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An AL West matchup on the show. It's Oklahoma City and the Texas Rangers. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Miguel Andujar, he's homered in five straight games. So, partner, some can't-miss at-bats coming our way from him. Yeah, and I find it interesting because watching him in batting practice, he was trying to keep the ball in the ballpark, hitting line drives the other way. So many times those home runs are mistakes, and I think he'd probably say half of the home runs he's hit lately have been mistakes because he's just trying to go gap to gap. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to roll. And pitching in this game, Jacob DeGrom. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. Can't wait to watch him pitch today. All right, ready to go here. And stepping in is the speedy Este Yuri Ruiz. Out to short. Oh, look at the stop. And he beats it. He's silly. This is great work for the shortstop. He makes the throw across the diamond after the dive and just wasn't able to get it there in time. But I love how much he put into that play. And on the other side, he was really giving it his all down the line as well. Nice play on both ends. Now the number two hitter, Ryan Noda. Finished the weekend series with four hits on Sunday. Lifted in the air right center field. Tavares going after it. He's got it. One down. Throw is high and over his head. That is her. The second. Let's take a look at our lineup. Big challenge for them today as they take on a pitcher who brings electric stuff and really racks up the strikeouts. Yeah, and it's all about making good contact against a pitcher like this. You're not going to get very many pitches to hit in an at-bat, maybe even in a game. So you've got to be ready, zoned in to the spot where you think you've got the best chance and jump all over it. Might be the first pitch in the at-bat, so you better walk up there ready from the jump. If they can make early, consistent contact, I think they'll have a much better shot against it. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Tavares calls it in to a way. That is cool. The right field. Rooker. Stepping in the long ball threat, Brent Rooker. To third. On to Simeon. And that is the third out of the inning. So one hit is all they get. And now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. Back here with my pal Siggy. And our pitcher tonight, Mike Soroka. The well, primary pitch is an outstanding sinker. It's hard to pick up out of the hand, but in the last few feet, really has arm side movement. Tough pitch for hitters to get the barrel of the bat on. Ready to go for the last half of the go. inning. The now it's the veteran outfielder, the Travis Jankowski. Jankowski. The wind of the pitch. Slow roller to third. Slings it across. One gone, bottom half of the first. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starter some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Leody oh. Tavares in the box with one, one away out. as he takes ball one. Two balls, Two no up. strikes the count. He 
swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Just Look off out. the outside part of the plate. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Struck him out looking. Now it's Corey Seager. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo, light tower power. That's right. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two outs, bases empty. Just uh -uh. missed. Oh. On the ground, right side. Over to first. And Seager is set down. Three up, three down, inning over. Rangers go down quickly there. Scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the second. Here's the left fielder, Seth Brown. Brown. You always have to worry about the fastball when facing DeGrom Boog. I mean, it's an electric pitch for him, and he's usually pumping it in at about 100 miles per hour, which makes him one of the hardest throwing pitchers in the league. High fly ball near the pole. That one is power. DeGrom measures six feet four inches, 180 pounds, and of course has a Cy Young to his credit. Ground ball to the right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And a quick out number one. That is it. The third base hit. Miguel. Here's Miguel and Duhar. Bounce to third. Young. Rolls across the diamond. Two up, two down on the top of the second. The catcher, Shay Langoliers. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Shay Langoliers. He's coming off a three-hit game in Sunday's series finale. Foul ball there. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. No score here in the second. Ground ball left side, and that's a fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, and he'll pull into second with two gone. Nice job keeping it fair as he turned on down the line and he wants to do the infield. Scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. <laughs> Next is the designated hitter, Tyler Soderstrom. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. That was blasted to the moon. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. It throws a pretty hard slider, but when it doesn't break, it's just like a good fastball hit. And right there, he's got big. Hit that ball really hard, and now he's getting high fives in the dugout. Diaz now. He's been tearing it up at the plate recently, averaging more than two hits per game in his last five. That's to third. Young tossed the first, and that is the end. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a two-nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show.
And we're back. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Yeah, the infielders the and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from a warning track if he has to. Swings through that one out in front that time. One and one. Right hander kicks deals. That yeah. one finds the zone. And the count one and two. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team two any two. hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The 2-2. Two -two. Stays alive. And a pitch. And it's filled up. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Come back into the mound. The throw to first. One up, one down. Here is Marcus Simeon. For Marcus Simeon, probably the biggest adjustment and improvement he's made has been on defense. Simeon made 35 errors as a shortstop nope, in 2015 nice. with Ball. the Oakland A's. And by the time 2021 came around, he won a gold glove with the Blue Jays. The Rangers down by a pair. Bottom half of inning number two. Back to the bound. Oh, he gloves it over to first. Ready two out here in the home half of inning number two. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop, gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the team up for sure. Here's Nathaniel Lowe looking to rebound today. He was 0 for 4 last night. Fall off foul. The Rangers trailing by two here in game one of this three game set. And that one wrapped foul. Two down, nobody on. Line, and that's a base hit. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Ground ball up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. No throw. And he reaches safely. So first and second with two outs. Ezekiel yeah. Duran stepping in for the Rangers. And one hit to right. Under it. Makes the grab and that's the inning. Rangers leave a pair, and they're down 2-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. DeGrom, back to work. Line drive, makes the grab one away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And now the first baseman, Ryan Noda. 
0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Robert to right field with and gone. A gigantic blast. His 19th home run of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. That adds another game to his hitting streak, Chris. Yeah, he's been doing so many things well at the plate and clearly driving the ball with some authority as part of that. He's really dangerous with the bat in his hands right now. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Base is empty one away. Now here is Zach Geloff. This one smoked out to left. Jankowski hooks it away for the out. And there's two away. Now that right field. Brent Rooker, the next to hit. He's over one. And first offering is fouled off. Doubled up on the slider away. Two seamer here. Let's watch and see. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Jankowski makes the play. And that's the third out. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back Leading as off, we go Rangers. to the last of the, the third. Catcher. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Hine. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Now the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Swings through that one for strike two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just going to have to tip your cap on that pitch. On the ground. And that chance handled. Fires over to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Up next is Rainey. No left field. Travis. So the lineup flips over. Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. First time up, he grounded to third. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. This guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. The Rangers one one. trailing by three here in the last half of the third. Right. Way out two. front for strike two. One and two, the count. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. He dies. That's a base hit. To send it the way too late safe there. Tavares. And that one fouled off. Jankowski leads off second with one gone in the inning. Good eye right there. It's a good take. Up the middle. Diaz whips it to first on the run. Now two out. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that in the He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Seeger stands in now. There's a strike. Two outs. And one in scoring position. And it's even up. 
and that's in there at the knees. And here comes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. One hit, one left. Three innings complete. The Rough Riders on top here, three to nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, now the left fielder, Seth Brown. Seth Brown. Yeah, the right hater back to work. There's a swing and a try. That's back. And gone. He leaves the yard to right. His fourth home run of the season. It's 4 nothing. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. Here's the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. On the ground to the left, Young. Tosses across the first, and that's the first the out. Bat. Nice recovery okay. after giving up the homer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shea Langoliers getting ready to hit. Swings and blasts low deep to left center. Back there. Pulls it in and the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. In the air, out towards right center. Tavares going after it. And that is that. Red scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 4-0 ball game. Bottom four. Here's a big power threat. Adolis Garcia. Adolis here comes a pitch. And that's in there at the knees. Right through there for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Wow, short work to send him pack in to start no, the no, inning no, and no, no messing around no, either. All three pitches were no, in the strike zone. Attack mode no, all the no, way. No. That's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Now a high fly ball out to left center. On his way over. Calls it in, and there's two away. Now pop. First base. Nathaniel low up to hit. One for one with a single so far. In there at the knees for a strike. The Rangers down by four. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Ripped to short. Diaz slings to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They trail it here, four nothing. Now it's going to be Aledmis Diaz. The shortstop, Aledmis Diaz. The wind and the pitch. And that one pulled foul. You know, this group of hitters doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They have yet to strike out, and they're averaging more than a hit.
hit per inning. That's a great recipe for success right there. The pitch. In the air, left field, down the line. Jankowski settles under it. Brings it in. And there's one away. So the batting order turns over. And here is Este Yuri Ruiz. One for two. On the ground to third. Zips it across. And there are two down. Now bad. Ryan Noda digs in now. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Noda, 28 years old, and he's driven in double digit runs over his last 10 games. Foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kicks and fires. on the year and they add a run it's five zip he's going to the plate with a ton of confidence lately and he's getting the results to back it up no doubt those two things feed off one another no matter how this outing ends that pitch is going to haunt him for a while an 0-2 mistake that's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone he left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with and that's exactly what he did Play. And that one ripped to left. Jankowski makes the catch, and that'll do it. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further, and the lead is now 5 nothing. Bottom of the inning, here's Josh Young. The third baseman. The pitch. And the slider just misses. Well, these Rangers just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Now the count oh. filled up three and two. Down and full. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. He had him out now, in front, now, which now, isn't now, easy now. to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Duran, batted right. with one down, takes a strike. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. No balls, two strikes. The punch out there, two away. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit, just couldn't get to him. I think that slider really caught way more of a play than it was supposed to. The next to hit takes ball one. He's controlling oh, yeah. things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. 
the line of the pitch. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And that keeps the inning alive. Everything came together for him. But that's about as textbook as he gets. Got his stride right. alone, out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now a chance for Travis Jankowski. Ground ball right side on the run. Throw to first. Play made. That ends the inning. Rangers lead one. It's 5-0. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Dane Dunning. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Brent Rooker getting ready to hit as he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That smash towards center. Drops into the glove. Run away. Clearly ready to hit right there. First pitch of the inning hits a bullet, and it just is one of those bad luck ABs. And that one fouled off. Right That's two. a strike, and it's 0-2. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. That's hard hit in the line. Tavares makes the catch. That's out number two. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Miguel. So digging in, Miguel on Duhar. Try to keep that hitting streak alive. Ten game hitting streak for the young man. This to third. It is a one, two, three inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Rough Riders out front here, five to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Leody Tavares. And a foul ball. And he'll one. This to third. Tosses to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ground. Nice ground out. And here's Corey Seeger to hit. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates hey. feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Tough play, a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect for the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Adolis Garcia. Struck out on just three pitches last time. That right. one's in there. That's strike one. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. That was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it no just bad. to try to no keep bad. the at bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really turn the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite. So tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss. You go back to the dugout shaking your head. Bounced up the middle. Gello jumps, throws. An acrobatic play to end the inning. One left for Texas. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit.
New inning getting started. Here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. Dunning back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Out of line, out towards center. Tavares makes the catch. And there's one away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Down the line. And foul as it banks off the fence. Here comes the one. Well struck right field. And it hits the fence. Makes the turn and heads for second. The relay throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he has seen it like a beach ball. <laughs> and it's a lead Miss Diaz. Swing it a foul straight back. Soderstrom over at second, one down. Now a screamer into the outfield. Brings it in, two down. Throw, and it gets away. The center fielder. Este Yuri Ruiz, the next to hit, one for three. And first offering is fouled off. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Line to left. And it gets down for a base hit. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Noda. He's already homer twice, the last one back in the fifth. This seems like he can't miss right now, seeing the baseball as well as anyone on the field. Now, I know the odds are against him, but who's going to bet against this guy right now? On the ground. And that one handled. That's the third out. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. The line to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. No ball, one strike. On the ground to third on Duhar. In plenty of time to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. The third baseman, number six. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. Right yeah, through there for a strike. Well, the guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter. You got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going that's to help ball. you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Hey. That's in there, and the count is one and two.
at the plate. Ezekiel Duran. Yeah. That's in there. Strike one. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Battling here as he fouls it away. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Up the middle. And that one finds its way through. Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. No, Close one doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. That's the third. That's a base hit as a run scores. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Just a simple ball the other way. They've got eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers to third. Fires across the diamond. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So it may be too little, too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. It 5-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. We go to the eighth, and here is Zach Gellar. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Done it. In his fourth year, he features a sinker, a slider, a cutter, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. Line drive. Fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. Now he launches a throw over his head. will be the cleanup hitter. Brent Rooker outfield playing very deep not wanting anything over their heads. In the air left field Jankowski settles under this one. He makes the grab and there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle no, the other that. way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Brown. So here's Brown at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Right field down the line and that one slices foul. On the ground at first. And he handles it himself for the out. Miguel Andujar digs in now. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Into center. Tavares settles under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. So now it's Corey Seeger. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers an average, but there's on base and slugging, too. No one won. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. Because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And down on strikes he goes. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Gosh, here he is headed. Three pitch strikeout. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. 
Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. First no, pitch doesn't hits. find the, the zone. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul straight back. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's no not the no kind of approach here. that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that half to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Kicks and deals. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Nothing doing for the Rangers. They're down here, five to one. All set to start the ninth in this one. And here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. Done it. Back to work. In the air, left field. Jankowski in position. And out number one on the grab. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. The designated hitter, Tyler. So now here's the DH, Tyler Soderstrom. And he's already left his mark on this game. He certainly has, Boog. A two-run shot in the second inning, and that made an early impact on this game in a big way. That one ripped right center field. That's down. One hops off the wall. I know you love the slug. Well, the sluggy percentage is on the rise in this one. That's his third extra base hit of the game. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And let Miss Diaz now. Back to the top of the lineup, and now the center fielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. Here's a rocket out to left, and a base hit right there. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Swung on, back it. That one's deep. Back gone. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. It's 8-1. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. <laughs> he's putting on quite the show with the dish here in this one. And he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Josh Spores gets the call from the pen. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. So up next, Zach Gellar. Ripped on a line. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now 8-1. to one. It's Major League Baseball on the show.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Now here is Nathaniel Lowe. The pitch. That one lifted to left. Brown makes the catch, and there's one gone. The third base number six. He's two outs away. Josh Young. Big swing and a miss. Oh one. sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So they're down to their final out. And now here is Ezekiel Duran. There's a strike. 0-1. Oh and, and there's That's the ball. 1-1. One one. They're down to their final strike. Two down, nobody on. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is the ball game. Well, there was no letdown after they got to 10 wins. Came out today, pushed it to 11. The opposition looks disgusted from the other side of the field. They respect the talent that's over there, but they also think that this is a lucky team. And that's the thing about baseball. You've got to be good, and you've got to be lucky. Right now, they're clicking on all cylinders, and they're just going to ride it as long as it will last. And this one finishes with a final 8-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Fans are final line.